Welcome to Immigration Quick Take. This is Ellie Rutledge Silver with the American Immigration Lawyers Association. Last week, 22 mothers being held in the Burks Family Detention Facility went on a hunger strike protesting their long stays in the detention center. With the hunger strike still going on today, AILA's Associate Director of Advocacy, Karen Lucas, shares the latest. Karen, thank you for joining me. Why are these women participating in this hunger strike? Well, the moms are participating in this hunger strike because they really felt they had no other choice. Um, they wrote a letter to the Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security explaining why they were doing this, um, and they were doing it because they were watching uh, the psychological consequences that this prolonged detention has had on their children. Um, the 22 moms who began the hunger strike at that time were detained between 270 and 365 days. Um, extremely long time to be in detention as an asylum seeker, as a mother, and as a child. Um, and just to read really quickly um, some of the things that they wanted to tell the secretary and the public. Um, we risked our own lives and those of our children so we could arrive on safe ground. While, we, while here, our children have told us that they sometimes consider suicide, made desperate from confinement. Um, and so what we're seeing now is what we saw in Artesia, um, what lots of mental health professionals see all the time with the consequences of detention um, on anyone, but especially on extremely vulnerable populations. Do you have any updates? So most of the mothers, the vast majority of the mothers, who began the hunger strike um, are in the middle of actively challenging the government's denial of their ability to present their asylum claims to a judge. Um, and so they have an active case in federal court. Um, and through that active case in federal court, they actually have judicially ordered stays of removal during the pendency of that litigation. Um, and, but despite that, uh, the litigation's been going on for months and months and months, but ICE has refused to release these mothers while they fight for basic due process, refused to release the mothers and the children. So the latest update from the Burke's attorneys on the ground is that three of the original 22 hunger striking families um, have been released and two more have been promised release. But none of the families that have been released or promised release are in active litigation in federal court. Um, they're not part of the litigation. Uh, even though in their immigration cases, they are in the exact same situation um, as the moms who are litigating. Um, and so this disparate treatment uh, is leading to strong concerns that the refusal to release the remaining families is retaliatory. What can ALA members do to support the hunger strikers? Well, they can take action. Um, we have two action alerts on our website right now, uh, two very easy ways for ALA members to click and send a message to their member of Congress saying, please speak out, we need your voices. Uh, political and public political pressure is, I think, what's needed here. Um, and members of Congress should be um, tweeting their support of the Burks mothers they should be calling ICE, um, they should be issuing statements um, of support, um, and as much public profile as we can get uh, to this terrible issue, the better. Thank you, Karen, for joining me. For the rest of you, please stay tuned for updates from the American Immigration Lawyers Association.